So just everybody be safe. If you find any carcasses, let us know. We'll take care of them and clean that spot immediately. Seeing the hazmat team go into the house was kind of shocking because I'd just been living there and now they're going in like it's a toxic waste dump. As the biohazard team assesses the hazardous conditions inside, clinical psychologist Dr. Julie Pike prepares for the emotional fallout that might occur. I am a little bit concerned that they are underestimating how difficult this day is going to be. And I think it will be very hard for them. I think a lot of feelings are gonna come up and I don't believe any of the three really have the tools to deal with challenging emotions. While the haulers are making progress, it's becoming more difficult for the children to contain their emotions. I just miss her so much. Yeah, and you loved her. She was my mom. I just, it sucks. How do you abandon your kids for crap? How? Somebody tell me how. I think today all three siblings are grieving in their own way. They're grieving the loss of the home, loss of their mother, and they're having to look at the reality of what their mother really lived in and the depth of her problem. Oh, <laughs> 